Four House followers. Today we're going to be doing a fun kids friendly project. Um, we are going to paint this canvas to look like birch trees. So today I'm going to be using some jute cord. It's a two ply one. Um, but if you have leftover yarn, that will work great as well. I'm going to be using these sponge it and dab it brushes. These are awesome. Um, plus there's three of them. Since I'm using three colors today, I can just use a different sponge for each color. Or again, you can wash them, whatever is your preference. And then I'm using these three colors today. I'm going to be using an ultramarine, a cobalt blue, and a turquoise. Now, you can use whatever color you prefer. Maybe you like reds and oranges, but I was kind of going for that blue summer sky look for me. All right. Okay, now we are ready to wrap this. I'm going to go ahead and get the end of my jute rope here. And I am going to go ahead and put that on the back side. And I'm just going to hold it there. And then I'm going to loop around the canvas. And I'm going to overlap a few of these. So they're going to be thicker trees, a couple thicker trees here. They don't have to be. You can only do a couple if you want. Doesn't matter. No wrong or right when doing this. I'm just going to keep going with that jute. And you have that empty space, you can kind of go back and do like a diagonal one that leads into the big one or into its own just kind of helps cover all the in-between space and if you wanted you could go ahead and just make as many lines as you want and then go in and make those little branches If you have some that aren't as close as you want, you can just kind of pinch them because we haven't tied it off yet. So you do have a little bit of wiggle room. Let me have this one go that way. Again, like I said, so easy to wrap this and there is no wrong or right. You just want to make sure that you have um, a couple layers of that jute um, to make some thicker trees otherwise they might be a little too thin on you even two is okay but I tend to like to go about three times and then I'm gonna put one more on here and then we're gonna go ahead and flip to that back side and we are going to tie off this shoe rope. Get it nice and tight. All right. And then you're just going to want to take your scissors or whatever you have to cut your jupe and snip. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tuck those little strings in there. And we're not going to need them. So I'm going to start with um, the darker blue today. And I'm going to go darker blue to lighter blue. And kind of ombre it out. I'm just using my paper towel here. Um, but if you have a paper plate or um, a paint palette, that will work as well. And I'm just going to dab until where I want to stop. There's no wrong or right answer. I tend to kind of have my fingers on the bottom of um, this, making sure I'm just holding the strings. And I am just going up and down straight with this. You want to make sure you're going up and down. Otherwise, you're kind of going to be moving those strings and you're not going to come out with those clean lines that we want to see when we have birch trees, right? So I'm just going to keep dabbing.
Now, even if you want, you could put that paint straight onto your little foam brush as well. Okay, make sure you get your sides. I'm just gonna swipe on down. And then that top part, I'm gonna have to go ahead and dab. Just dab, dab, dab. You guys, this is so easy. And the best thing is, everybody's tree can turn out differently. You don't even have to do blues. You could do some really pretty pinks, maybe something that's a little bit more springy. Um, or you could also do some awesome fall colors, like reds and oranges would look so pretty with this. Um, another thing is, you could use even cotton balls if you wanted to have some more smaller dots um, to kind of create another texture on this. Or maybe you want rainbow. I really like the blue um, just because it reminds me of the sunny blue skies um, that we see during summer. And I also love blue. It's one of my favorite colors, so. Let's just keep dab, dab, dabbing. As you can see, I'm kind of blending up into that darker blue. Um, you want to make sure when you first get paint that you're starting down at the bottom and then going up so that you're not covering up too much of that dark blue. If you do cover up some of it, you can just come on in with that brush that doesn't have very much paint and just kind of blend it. This is all with that up and down motion. Okay, now that little lighter turquoise. I love the turquoise, that is one of my favorites out of all these colors. Okay. And again, I use all three dabbers so that um, I didn't have to wash them in between. That's the best thing about that little foam brush kit. Also, when I use a smaller one on the, these base pieces, these tend to have a little wider um, openings and the little foam brush fits right into it so I can get some really clean, strong lines. Again, just doing that up and down motion. Don't go swiping it all around. Also, when you go up and down, you get a little bit more texture than if you were to swipe it on to the canvas. Kind of get some white in there. Ooh, it might be cute to add like some ladybugs on this. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of blend up into that lighter blue up above. I don't know if you guys can see how the color kind of just blends into it. Over here, I had a little bit too much paint, so I'm gonna have to come in with that lighter color, that medium, that cobalt blue. Again, when you blend it into that upper color, you really don't need very much paint on your brush. Now, if I wanted, I could go ahead and add some color all the way to the top with this lighter blue since that turquoise is my favorite. I'm just giving it a little bit more texture again. Um, one thing I didn't do was get my sides all the way. So make sure you don't forget those, cover them all up. Cover them all up. Okay, we are almost done, you guys. And then coming in with that cobalt, that medium blue. 
If you want, you can blend in your sides as well and do that same dabbing motion. Blend it into the top and bottom. So it matches. All right, you guys. Now that I got this all painted, I am gonna go ahead and cut it off, the jute rope, um, just cause I don't want it to have any chance on sticking to my canvas. So I'm just gonna snip right down the middle, the back side of my canvas. And then I'm just gonna peel, I'm gonna grab these and just peel it right off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and then we're gonna come back and do the little lines on the birch tree with some black. Okay, now that your painting is dry, you can go ahead and either have a very fine point paintbrush or today I'm gonna to be using this Posca pen. It's just black and I'm gonna go across and make the lines on a birch tree. Again, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna go back and forth. Some in the center, some not. You can have them spaced close together or not. Just really it becomes a preference of your own tree, right? Every tree is gonna have its unique markings. Maybe you wanna have a little secret um, knot in here that has a little message. Maybe you're giving this to your mom, so you want to do like a little heart shape knot. Again, you're just going to want to space it out however big you want or little. No wrong or right. I do like, however, when there's like bigger um, trunks, I like to tend to put a little bit longer lines than the thinner parts. And you're just going to continue this until you are happy with the results and all your trees are kind of covered. These pins make it so much easier and you can do so many other things with these pins. Um, you can paint rocks and have little messages on it. If you're not good by, um, if you're not good with painting letters with a paintbrush, this would essentially just be like using a pen, right? I know for me, I have horrible handwriting. And so with a paintbrush, I am that much worse. And these are lifesavers. All right, I'm almost done here. Again, some areas have a little bit more lines, some don't. Just really is a preference on what you like, right? I kind of like it to be a little random. Okay. Now, we would love for you guys to go ahead and share all your lovely artwork with us. Um, the best way to share with us is probably by putting a post up on Instagram and just tagging craft at Craft Warehouse. All right, there you guys go. It's just such a cute, fun, easy project. And you could do one for fall too, doing more of the red and orange and yellow. That would be gorgeous. All right, you guys. Thank you for crafting with us. Happy crafting.